So another aspect of mindfulness is to establish our intention. You can also call it programming mindfulness. And this just enables us to set an intention at the beginning rather than try to work things out later on when problems arise in the practice. So to use the Buddha's words, he says, may my mind be firm and well settled internally. (coughs) May my mind be firm and well settled internally. May unwholesome states not invade my mind. And if they do invade my mind, may they not obsess me. May wholesome states develop in my mind. So just setting a very clear intention. You can use your own words if you want to at the beginning of the meditation. Noticing mindfulness, the quality of mind which is aware with clarity in this present moment. Mindfulness which is like the light of the sun. But along with the light comes the warmth. So establishing an attitude of awareness with kindness. Awareness becomes the medium through which kindness can flow to whatever it observes. So with a very aware, compassionate and gentle mind, we're just going to scan the body from top to foot. Not for the purpose of understanding the nature, but just to relax the body and to bring awareness and kindness to each part of the body so that we can relax into the meditation. So if you want to follow, please do so. If not, you're welcome to practice in your own way. We're just going to start on the top of the head and see what kind of sensations you notice there. Not looking for anything special. Just noticing and kindly letting them be. Moving down to the forehead, to the face area, the eyes, the nose, the cheeks, the lips. Just noticing any physical sensations in the face area. Regarding them with kindly eyes. Moving into the shoulders. Maybe noticing any tension. And allowing kindness to relax that tension. Moving down the arms to the elbows, 
all the way down to the hands. Noticing any feelings or any sensations there. Allowing them to be. Noticing each finger, each fingertip. And bringing the attention up to the chest area. <coughs> giving just as much importance as to what you experience and how you experience it. <coughs> Awareness notices experience. Kindness cares for the experience. Coming down into the abdomen area, spreading your kindness, your awareness all over this area and noticing any sensations. Whether at the level of skin, flesh or bones, whatever arises in your mind. Noticing what kind of attention feels good to you. If you're experiencing something difficult, you might find it more suitable to widen the attention to include larger parts of that area. Sometimes you prefer to focus in. Whatever works without losing the clarity and the gentleness. Now moving your attention to the upper back. Allowing the light and the warmth of the sun to experience all the sensations in the upper back, down towards the waist, the lower back, internally on the surface of the body or inside the body, wherever you feel some sensation. just noticing how this warmth and light of the sun opens up the present moment. Moving down to the buttocks. Noticing any sensation in that area, maybe heaviness, softness. You don't need to label, but just notice whatever arises.
and then bringing your attention down the legs to the thighs to the bottom part of the thighs that are touching with the floor or the chair allowing kindness to flow through your awareness Moving your awareness down to the knees. Feeling deeply into the knees. With great kindness and gentleness. Whatever sensation arises in the knee area. Moving down to the shins, the calves, to the ankle, down into the feet, the soles of the feet, the heels, the soft underneath part of the foot, the ball of the foot, into the toes, seeing if you can notice any sensation in each of the toes. Now just getting a more general sense of the whole body. Let's become more alive to you. Perhaps you can notice sensations that you didn't see earlier on. Now I'd like to invite you to do another body scan at your own speed in the same way that we did before, but particularly noticing any pleasant sensation in the body. It doesn't have to be very obviously pleasant. It could be maybe some tingling or a sense of relaxation. But just seeing if you can incline your mind towards the experience of pleasant sensation and pick up on any pleasant sensation in the body as you scan from head to toe. Very gentle awareness.
noticing if there's any emotional response. whether that response is a wholesome or an unwholesome response. See if you can remain contented with pleasant experience. Now gently letting that perception fade, we're going to scan again from the top of the head, this time noticing any sensation that you would describe as unpleasant. With a very gentle and kind mind. See if you can pick up on any experience that you would describe as unpleasant. And see what kind of attention is able to remain contented with that experience. whether you want to widen or narrow your field of attention. Whatever allows you to be with that unpleasant experience. just unpleasant experience, not my unpleasant experience. This is just one aspect of the nature of experience. Again, noticing any emotional response or reaction, whether that's wholesome or unwholesome.
Now we're going to gently let that experience, that perception fade. And this time, bringing the awareness to the top of the head. Scan the body for any kind of neither pleasant nor unpleasant sensation. An experience you would class as neutral Scanning the body for neutral experience. Noticing any emotional response or reaction. whether that's wholesome or unwholesome. Now gently letting that perception fade away and continuing to practice with whatever experience comes to mind, allowing the warmth and the light of the sun to bring you more deeply, more fully into this moment.
noticing not only the hindrances that may be present, but noticing the absence of craving and aversion. Noticing contentment. Noticing the beauty and simplicity of the moment. Allowing the enlightenment factors to develop and be fulfilled. drop by drop, watering the flowers, allowing them to bloom.
So as we come towards the end of this meditation, again I invite you to just reflect on what just happened. Were you able to keep the mind well settled and firm internally? What was it like to experience the different kinds of sensations? And how did the wholesome states arise and develop in the mind? Now just take a few moments to value yourself and to appreciate yourself for coming here to practice. Allow yourself to savor whatever peace and contentment you've developed in the mind. And at the end of the third gong, we can open our eyes.